Rub up your engines! Today I'm gonna talk about this baby. It's a 2500 HD GM truck. Now if you've watched me any length of time, you know I'm not really a fan of GM vehicles, but when you talk about commercial vehicles, that's another story. This particular one was purchased from the commercial division and they built it the way he wanted it built. As you can see, it's set up for some serious business. He had all kinds of LEDs added onto it so he can work at night. Check it out, it's a light show with Scotty. Now unlike the smaller 1500s, these 2500s are made to take it and to dish it out. We check out on the hood, the other one's got a six liter gasoline engine that puts out 401 horsepower and 464 pound feet of torque. So pulling these big loads, that's no big deal for this thing. Now you might think pulling all that weight is gonna be hard for this gasoline engine. Not only does it not strain the engine, it doesn't strain the transmission. As you can see under here, there's the big drive shafts. Not gonna get stuck. Although he told me it did get stuck once. He needed the all wheel drive because it goes on a lot of construction sites, mud you name it. And he got on one. The owner didn't bother telling them that they just backed filled around this house so the ground was soft. He sunk in the mud up to the window. He had to roll the window and climb out. And they did have to get a big diesel excavator with chains. That's what these babies are for. And they had to have it pulled out of the mud that deep. Then it drove home perfectly fine. I really don't know why, but these commercial GM products are so much better than their run-of-the-mill plain old 1500 trucks. It can make your head spin. The transmission, it's a real reliable six speed automatic not one of those fancy 10 speeds that often have problems it's tried and true it can last and that's what you want with a work truck it's got an insanely solid frame a full frame vehicle as you can see here even the steel was made in canada and it's a true crew cab got a lot of room inside got room for a crew and if you want to sit military style you can fit a bunch more of your crew in the back and in your spare time you can even get in shape and of course with these add-ons, you can bring all your tools and your equipment with you easily and lock them up at night. Gotta talk about serious roof racks. Takes a lot more than ladders on this thing. When we get inside, nice and comfy. Starts right up, got everything you need on the screen. And if people are annoying you, there's various ways of telling them so. This is an add-on, but it's quite a bit of fun, as you can see. Could be a good post-apocalyptic truck too. I'm thinking about that one. And of course it's got towing options for when you're towing to make everything equalize for the braking and special towing settings. And if you want, you can shift it electronically if you're pulling the heavy load going up or down hills, if you feel like it. But the main thing is they can pull a lot. They're great work trucks and that's what they're made for. You run your business out of a truck and a trailer. You don't want that thing breaking down and you want to get your money's worth. When you're this serious that you want ventilation inside your trailer and on hot summer days, hey, the six liter V8 has got enough power and a lot of long life. Sure it's not gonna get 35 miles a gallon on a highway like the Colorado I recently showed with the four cylinder diesel engine in it. Now when it's towing a full load like this trailer on a highway, it gets about 12 miles a gallon. The Colorado that got 34 miles a gallon with a diesel engine, it only got 24 when it was towing a little bitty 3500 teardrop trailer. So it could never haul this kind of stuff. And that's what a serious work truck like this is for. A serious work truck is for pulling heavy loads, getting you where you're going, being dependable for years and years and years. And as I said, this truck was bought commercially to a commercial dealer. He got everything he wanted put on it, custom ordered, and that's what people want when they want a serious work truck for their business. They're not gonna haggle over nickel and dime stuff, but they want something that's going to last and be dependable so their business can thrive and then everybody's happy. They pick the stuff up, it didn't break down. Nobody lost any time because of transportation issues. Because after all in the business world, time is money. You don't wanna lose the time and the money. You want dependability, you want something that can do what you want it to do without fail and you'll happen 
happily pay the price because it's a business. And most businesses can't afford to haggle around buying a used vehicle, then it has problems, it has downtime, they lose money, they lose customers. They'll pay the price for a new vehicle if it holds up over time. And so far, this has given him no problems whatsoever. Of course, time will tell, but from my experience with other customers with heavy duty GM vehicles, they've had pretty good experiences. So now you know the truth about a 2500 HD Chevy work truck. A lot different than their normal run of the mill 1500. Bigger sometimes is better. And here's some bonus questions and answers. If you're thinking about getting an electric motorcycle, but you were put off by the price tag, as the Harley Davidson one is $29,000, there's a company called Sondors, and they now have a real electric motorcycle that can go 80 miles an hour and it's affordable now it's not cheap it's five thousand dollars but when you compare that to the twenty nine thousand dollar seven hundred ninety nine harley davidson electric yes it's very affordable and it can go 80 miles an hour and it even looks kind of like a motorcycle now of course it's made in china it's called the sondors metacycle has a four thousand watt hour battery with a 14.5 kilowatt hub electric motor built into the back hub now it's got a range of 80 miles but of course the range is tested maybe 30 miles an hour on a highway you probably get a max of maybe 30 to 40 miles electric motors the faster you go they start losing their efficiency and so they won't go i tested other electric motorcycles and some of them said they had a range of 150 miles you take them at the highway and go 75 miles an hour things ran out of juice after 15 miles so don't think that you can drive them fast for long distances this is more of a commuting thing to commute to work in the city it only weighs 200 pounds so it's lightweight for a motorcycle it would handle quite well and now it is made in china but realize the chinese know quite a bit about electric motorcycles motorcycles and electric scooters in china there are over 250 million of them on the road that people are driving around and they've been driving electric motorcycles and bicycles for quite some time in china so if anybody's gonna get one out that's affordable and actually holds up hey it'd be the chinese it has inverted forks like a racing motorcycle brembo designed brake system so very good brakes and they're set up so you can charge them at any of the meta charging stations that are out there and you can also plug in at home and since it's a motorcycle not a car just plug it in your house four hours it's fully charged it's not one of these things that's going to take four days because it's a smaller battery it's not like a tesla now they expect deliveries to occur october of this year they're taking orders now if you're thinking about an electric motorcycle you might wait till one of these come out and see how they go because uh, five grants a lot cheaper than thirty thousand dollars it could be a very useful commuting motorcycle to go back and forth and you don't have to worry about chain maintenance and that doesn't have a chain it's got an electric motor on it technology that's been proven in china already it could be a very good commuting vehicle for people that live in an area where it doesn't snow and rain all the time <laughs> believe me if you ever thought about commuting in a motorcycle like somebody in Seattle and you saw what the weather was like you might change your mind and want to get a car then well here's a good use for a Dodge Neon Canadian Airline in Thunder Bay Ontario is using hacked up Dodge Neon parts of the cars as baggage handlers at the airport Bearskin Airlines I'm not making this up in Thunder Bay is using Dodge Neon's various parts chopped off and stuff to haul the baggage carts around to the airport some of them have the roof and doors hacked off some of them are all hacked off and they have golf cart bodies grafted onto the frame of the neon if you've ever priced those tractors i'd looked at it and they can go used to new anywhere from 20 to 50 thousand bucks a piece so it's no wonder that bearskin airlines in thunder bay ontario has got a bunch of old dodge and plymouth neons and have turned them into their baggage handlers you can get old neons for 500 bucks or less wrecked ones even cheaper and then you can do the old red green from the red green show <laughs> and hack them out and turn them into baggage hands. I swear, this is something you expect to see on the Red Green Show. <laughs> Only it's real. And the people who fly Bearskins Airlines and Thunder Bear and Terror said they've seen these things for years. So they're holding up as baggage handlers. Maybe not so great as cars, but they got a second life chopping them to pieces. I wonder if they use the old red green duct tape to hold any of them on and bringing your baggage in and out of the airplanes in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Hey, where there's a will, there's a will. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.